Hi, my name is Amy Heisey, and this is my cat, Scully, and I'm going to be walking you through how to draw one of my favorite saints, Saint Anthony, with the child Jesus. We celebrate his feast day on June 13th, and I'm going to show you how to draw him using simple lines and simple shapes. For this project, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to work on Saint Anthony's head. So his head is kind of egg shaped. So close to the top of my paper, I'm going to do a curve for the top of the head a little bit wider. And I'm going to have the bottom be a little bit more pointy where I want his chin to be. And you can do any head shape that you wish. I'm just doing an egg shape. We're also gonna put in the head shape for baby Jesus, which is this little circle. So baby Jesus is nuzzled right up against his face. So I want to make sure that I put my circle on this right side over here. And you can make that circle as big or as small as you want it to be. We're gonna be putting in St. Anthony's neck. So underneath this pointed part of his head, I'm going to add one line on the left side and one line on the right side, kind of close to baby Jesus. And I'm going to do a big V kind of shape for the top of his collar. So I'm gonna do a diagonal line here and it stops kind of where his chin is. And for the other side of the V, I'm gonna have it come up and I'm stopping where my baby Jesus's hat is. We're going to draw a line for the bottom of his collar. So right where the point of that V shape is, you're going to draw a line that comes across like this. And I'm going to connect it to this line here. So it looks like a big triangle. And I'm going to have it connect to his face like that. We're gonna be working on baby Jesus's arm next. So underneath his chin, I'm going to do a line that comes out straight like this. That's creating the top part of his arm. We're going to do a line that comes down for the open part of his sleeve. And it's gonna connect in a curved line up to his hat. I'm going to add his hand. So I'm going to do a big curve for his big fingers and a little curve for his thumb, kind of creates a mitten shape. And I'm going to add a little line here underneath the chin for this part of his body. We're going to take a break from baby Jesus for now. We're going to start to add in this top part of St. Anthony's cloak. So over here on the left side, kind of near this triangle of his collar, you're going to draw a diagonal line that comes over here. And that creates a little bit of his upper arm and his shoulder. And we're going to continue that line into a swoop for his arm. I'm going to draw a line that comes up for this open part of his sleeve. And I'm going to do a straight across line like this for the top part of his sleeve. And right above his sleeve, there's this little curve here for this top part of his cloak. And I'm just gonna make it maybe just a little bit wider than the sleeve of his arm. I'm going to do a similar curve over on this side for this arm. So by G baby Jesus's back, I'm going to do a slight curve that comes down and it matches the length of this sleeve here. And I'm going to have it come up like this. So that's creating this open part of his sleeve. We're gonna to start to put in um, one of St. Anthony's hands. So at the top of the sleeve, I'm going to do a big curve for his big fingers and a little curve for his thumb. And that creates 
this mitten shape for his hand. I'm going to draw a line here for the opening of his sleeve and a straight across line here for the top of his sleeve. I'm going to separate these fingers on this big curve. So I'm going to add one, two, three lines and that separates that into four fingers. And I'm going to add this hand here. So the main shape kind of starts off like a curve, kind of like a sideways letter U and that's creating the overall shape of his hand. But I'm gonna add some lines, one, two, three, to create um, th these um, lines for like his knuckles. I'm gonna finish up baby Jesus. So we have his back here. So starting in his shoulder, you're gonna draw a line that comes down and stops at St. Anthony's sleeve. And over here on this side, we're gonna do a line that comes down and then curves in to the sleeve. And we have two little swoops for baby Jesus's feet. I just did really simple feet. So one swoop for one foot and another swoop for the other foot. St. Anthony is often seen holding lilies in artwork. So we're going to put in a lily. So right above his hand, I want you to start off with a straight up and down line for the stem. And um, the main shape of the lily kind of reminds me of the letter V. So I'm going to draw one diagonal line here and one diagonal line here. So right now it kind of looks like the letter Y. And I want to add some flower petals in between this space. So starting here, I'm going to come down, go up, come down, go up, come down and go up as many times as I can. I'm going to add a curve here and then connect that to the stem. And I'm gonna do a curve line here and connect that to the stem on the opposite side. And for the bottom of the lily, I'm going to do two parallel lines and connect them at the bottom. We can see these little um, lines coming down for these tassels on St. Anthony's robe. So starting kind of where his hand is, I'm going to do a line coming down like this, and I'm gonna add another one right next to it and connect them at the bottom. So that's one string. And I wanna do the same thing here. I wanna draw one line that comes down, but maybe a little longer this time draw another line right next to it and connect it at the bottom. For the sides of his robe, I'm going to do two long lines coming down. So one over towards the left and one over towards the right. I want to connect these lines down at the bottom with a curved line, kind of like a smile. And I can see his little toes peeking out from underneath. So I can see all five toes on this side and I can only see a couple toes on this right side, but if you can fit in five, go for it. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five little curves. So think like the letter U. And over here, I'm gonna add some toes, but maybe I only can see a couple. For his face, um, finishing off his head, I'm going to add a curve for his ear, and I'm gonna add a line to create the inner edge of that ear. And he has this really um, signature haircut um, where we can see a little bit of his head showing up at the top. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a slightly curved line, leaving a little bit of the top of his head with nothing on it. And on the left, I wanna add a curve that comes past his head like that. 
and we're gonna do one that comes past his head over on the right side. I'm going to start to add some individual hairs here. So I'm going to draw a curved line like that. And I'm just gonna keep adding swooped curved lines, kind of like this, until I reach the edge of his head on both the right side and on the left side. And I'm gonna erase this little bit of my egg shape from when I drew out the main shape of my head. That way, all I see is his hair. We'll add the hair to baby Jesus too. So I'm gonna do a curved line near the top with a swoop that comes down. And baby Jesus has a really simple face. His eyes are little curves, kind of like smiles. He has a smiling mouth. And then I put in two little eyebrows. You can make his face look however you wish. And um, I am going to be wrapping up St. Anthony's face. So St. Anthony's face, he has two simple circles kind of near the middle of his head. So one here and one here. His nose, I have a line that comes down. It starts in between the eyes and comes down about halfway down the head. And then it kind of checks up. So that line kind of reminds me of like a check mark. It kind of curves up and that creates the main point of his nose. And I have these two um, curved lines on either side of the nose. So if you add one on each side, it creates a little nostril. I'm going to add two eyebrows above his eyes and I'm gonna give him a smiling mouth. So I'm gonna do just a nice shallow smile in between his nose and his chin and a smaller line underneath to create the hint of a lip. I also chose to add in some halos to both baby Jesus and St. Anthony. So if you want, you can draw those out in pencil or you can wait to draw those out with what you wanna color with. And whenever you are finished drawing all the lines of your artwork and you're ready to fill it in, you can color it with your favorite art supplies. I'm going to be using markers, but you can use whatever you like. And when I use markers, one thing that I like to do is I like to outline my pencil with pens kind of like these, that way it stands out. Thank you so much for following along with today's tutorial. I would love to see how your St. Anthony drawings turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. And if you enjoyed following along, know that I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials here on my channel every week. Another way that you can help support the channel is through my buy me a coffee page and art supply wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for following along with me and I'll see you in the next video.